Sup sup everyone, it's really Timmy B and welcome to episode 13 of my Pokemon Platinum Randomized Sanilog. Last episode, we started off with an evolution and encounter montage to go back and catch some Pokemon on routes we did not explore and then evolve some that were pretty close to build out the rest of the team as a couple of episodes ago, we lost a couple of team members. This episode, it's the finale. It's time to take on the Elite Four Challenge to become Pokemon Champion of the Sinnoh region. So let's start off with a team recap. Decided to grind everybody up to level 58, as that would be right on par with Lucian and Cynthia's team. So those will be our two toughest battles. So let's hop into a team recap. Leading off, we have Archon, the Arcanine holding the charcoal with the ability Inner Focus. The Pokemon is protected from flinching. With the moves Strength, Heat Wave, Fire Punch, and Overheat. Decided to teach it Strength over Protect just in case we do get trapped uh, on a Pokemon where Fire is a little bit ineffective, wanted to give it a different type coverage. Next up, we have Wilma the Whale Lord holding the leftovers with the moves Surf, Waterfall, Earthquake, and Hydro Cannon. It learned Earthquake while grinding, so we do have some type coverage on electric type moves, although it can take a hit or two. I don't want to use it for electric type moves, but if we run into a Metagross, we know who to turn into. And Wilma has the ability Natural Cure. All status problems are healed upon switching out. Speaking of Metagrosses, or Metagry, we have Heavy Metal, the Metagross on our team, holding the Metal Coat with the ability Heat Proof. Weakens the power of fire type moves with the moves Magnet Bomb, Iron Head, Strength, and Bullet Punch. Next up, we have Danny the Glaceon holding the Shell Bell. And at level 57, Danny learned Ice Beam. Thank you, Danny, for learning Ice Beam. You also have Icy Wind, Avalanche, and Crush Claw with the ability Sand Bell. Boost the Pokemon's evasion in a sandstorm. And then next up, we have Azura, the Shaman holding the Shell Bell. With Limber, the Pokemon is protected from paralysis. With the moves Body Slam, Seed Bomb, Bullet Seed, and Frenzy Plant. And finally, we have Missy the Mesprit with the Twisted Spoon, or holding the Twisted Spoon, with X Scissor, Psy Beam, Calm Mind, and Slack Off. With the moves, or with the ability, Cute Charm. Contact with the foe may cause infatuation. So that's our team, guys. If you think that's a good team for the Elite Four, hit that thumbs up button to like this video. And also consider subscribing if you're new. First of all, if you're new, welcome. I'm It's Really Timmy B, and I hope you enjoy all of the videos on my channel. So without further ado, let's hop right into the battle. If we go into the Elite Four, our rival the Grinch will say, Hold it. Don't go off without me. You're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here, too. Let's see who's more worthy of making the challenge with the battle. So I decided to lead off with Archon because when we battled him last, he had some grass type Pokemon, he had some steel type Pokemon. So let's see what he has this time. He'll lead off with his Regice, which is perfect for Archon, the Arcanine. And you have Frisk as your ability. Okay, so let's switch into Fire Punch. Quick Attack won't do anything. I actually ran into uh, this battle while I was grinding and I didn't save. So I got Danny up to level 58 and I got Azura to like level 55. Ran into this battle, so I had to, you know, restart that, regrind Danny and Azura. So that was a little bit of a Debbie Downer. And you have a wall rate. Let's keep in Archon. And let's go with Overheat because this should be able to take it out. It will lower our special attack, but we can switch out. But it looks like we got a ice type rich. So come on, Archon, you can take this out. And then also, ooh, okay, okay. Water sport, ooh, scary. Actually, that is a little bit scary because fire power was weakened and we are a fire type. This is why I taught it strength to take it out. But yeah, when I was grinding, most of the Pokemon I, uh, I was grinding on had like multi-level moves like Arm Thrust and, and Bullet Seed and Rock Throw. Or not Rock Throw. Um, the other Rock Blast. That's what it was. Delibird, we will switch out and let's go into Heavy Metal. Uh, yeah, so it had Rock Blast, Arm Thrust, and I'm like 15 levels higher. And they would only do like maybe 5 or 10 damage. Not that much, right? But it seemed like almost every time they used it, it would hit four or five times. And it's kind of like, dude, like, come on. 
Like, I'm 15 levels higher than you. Just hit twice and let me take you out, please. Uh, so that was a little bit of a hassle during the grind, but there was that Chansey and Victory Road as well as Route 222. So that's where most of the grinding was just because Chansey gives out insane HP. I think it was almost... Oh, you have two Reg Ice? Dude, lucky you. You must have been pretty nice there, Grinch. But that was most of my grinding because Chansey gave out like 1,500 experience, which is quite a lot in, in this game, especially for Pokemon uh, with this level. I don't know if this will take it out, but hopefully we can get a flinch. It's super effective. Do we get a flinch? No, we get Petal Dance. Petal Dance won't do anything. And I am well stocked up on items. I think between full restores and... I probably should have used Bullet Punch, but I think between full restores and max potions, I have like 50 total, in addition to like 40 Hyper Potions. So we're going to be well stocked up. I think I have 10 of each status like, um, what am I thinking of? Like, like antidotes and awakenings and burn heals and ice heals. I think I got about 10 each of those. So we are all stocked up on items. Ice punch, dude, seriously, that won't do anything. You're better than that, Sneasel. It's actually not a bad team. I mean, two, two reg ice, a wall range. So you definitely got the beef. Sneasel for the quick cheese. So a deli bird is, is, you know, bad, but I mean, this is not a bad team. And a Glaceon. Oh, you got Danny again. Well, we'll keep you in here, buddy. We'll keep in Heavy Metal to just use an Iron Head on this Glaceon. I fully believe in this last one. Uh, if if we get swept by this Glaceon, <laughs> then then I, I should just delete my channel. Just kidding. I won't delete my channel because Glaceon is going to go down. A Mega Kick won't do anything. Ooh, not very effective. Nice job, Grinch. We're not finished yet. Yeah, well, hate to break it to you, buddy, but you are donezo. It's super effective. And we take down the Grinch. Love to see that. $5,100. Yeah, I guess you're not ready for the Pokemon Challenge, especially because you only have Ice-type Pokemon. So uh, let's actually just heal up in the Pokemon Center. And now we can take on the Elite Four Challenge. So let's hop in. Like I said, the first battle or two should be relatively easy, but we'll, I mean, we'll see. It's, it's randomized, but in terms of levels, all right, we got to just approve all the badges. So we should be good to go. Like I said, I mean, we're going to be pretty over leveled the first battle, battle and a half, maybe even the first two battles. So let's go ahead and take on the Elite Four. First up will be Aaron. We're gonna hop in the elevator, hop through this door. And ooh, look at this green hair. Hello. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of Bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty mean, and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on Challenge here? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my Bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. And we are going into a battle with Aaron. I don't know what, what my voice was for Aaron, but you know, we're, we're gonna go ahead and go with it because, well, it's too late now. And you have a Murkrow. Okay, so you're either going to be Dark or Flying type. If you are a Flying type, this is only going to be perfect for Danny to take you out. But let's go ahead and keep Archon in to use a Heat Wave to take this out. Should do more than enough damage. Yep. And we will find out if you are Dark or if... A Dark Rye. Oh, okay. So you are a Dark type trainer. So, huh. Let's see what we got here. So, no. No. Honestly, I think we should keep in Archon for this. Right? Let's see. 167 for attack. And let's see what Archon is. 139. You know what? Let's go into Azura. We'll do like legendary versus legendary here, and we'll just go for the seed bombs. Um, this, I mean, I, I think that's that's the best. And you have the shell bell too. Plus, we're eight levels higher, so I think we should be fine. Let's go for a seed bomb tackle. Ouch, bro, dude, that did like twelve damage. Can you imagine having a level fifty dark ride and you have to rely on tackle as a move? Okay, yeah, that is perfect. Uh, that is with outside of healing range. And one more seed bomb should do the job. Embargo. So we can't use items. So our shell bell. Well, good thing is we're already at full health. So our shell bell is all good to go. And Darkrai goes down. Nice job. Nice job, Azura. 
Look at that. 2200 experience. The next up is a Sneasel. Um, we got to get you out because you're part ice. And we'll bring in heavy metal because you're part ice. See how this works. We really don't have any fighting. I don't think we have any fighting type moves on the team. But I think we can manage. We do have... Um, we got some heavy hitters here to brute force them down. So, missed. Okay, nice job, Sneasel. Well, take my iron head now that you're covered in... Or, I'm sorry, shrouded in mist. This should take it out. I believe this is his highest level Pokemon, too, at 53. So, let's see what, what's up next in store with the dark type. And a Cactur. Okay, well, let's uh, switch back in and... Honestly, let's go to Danny. Let's get Danny some, some battle experience in the first Elite Four battle. We'll use our brand new move, Ice Beam. And let's take this out. Come on, Cactur. In level 49? Uh, actually, let's go for an Icy one. We are going to have to save up on the Ice Beams. But I was so, so happy when it learned it. Once I saw level 57 and it said, once to learn Ice Beam, I was like, thank you. I, I was like, it was just such a relief when you see a move. Especially, like, in randomizations because TM Luck as you've seen hasn't been the best level up moves haven't been that great either another character and we'll leave danny in uh for one more ice icy win but yeah you never know in randomizations and you saw with tm luck it wasn't that good and level up moves were okay they were decent i mean but when wilma learned earthquake i was ecstatic and when danny learned ice beam it's kind of like yes finally you learned like the one of the best ice moves in the game we do have the TM for Blizzard, but Danny can't learn it. Actually, nobody on our team can learn it. Out of all of our TMs that we can learn, like Sludge Bomb, uh, Blizzard, there was one or two other ones. I think Dizzy Punch, like nobody on our team could learn it. I think Dizzy Punch, somebody could. Uh, but yeah, for all of our good TMs, like nobody on our team could learn it. And uh, well, we are at full health, so Aaron didn't do any damage to us. The only damage was on Danny, and then we restored it with the Shelba, or I'm sorry, Azura, with Dark Rise Tackle. So we don't need to do any healing, which is honestly pretty good. We, we saved up on a lot of power points on our moves, and we went ahead, and uh, we don't need any health. So let's see what we got here. Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer, but you also got quite a spy. Ha ha ha, I'm Bertha. I have a preference for ground type Pokemon. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? Next up, we got Bertha, who normally has ground type Pokemon. Actually, a pretty decent team, if I say so myself. Let's see what she is randomized to, and we got a, a Curlia. Okay, so this is going to be a Psychic type gym. So this could be a little bit tough. We don't really have anything to take down Psychic type Pokemon. So let's actually go for a Fire Punch. The good news is Psychic type Pokemon are generally pretty weak defensively, and we got some heavy hitters. We have Archon, we have Azura, we have Heavy Metal, of course, and our Wilma is an attacking Whale Lord, so we can definitely bring him into a Slowpoke. Well, speaking of Azura, we'll bring him in. And also, Missy does know X Scissor, and our Missy has a higher attack, so this is actually a pretty good team for a Psychic type. We don't have any like Dark type or anything, but maybe we'll bring in Missy. Uh, for a little uh, psychic on psychic cheese uh, by using X's or the bug type. Bug moves. Come on, Seed Bomb. Keep on going. Go, 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 go. Oh. Trick Room. Okay. That's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. So you're probably going to heal up. So let's go with the Bullet Seed. I think Bullet Seed will do. I'll, I'll speed up for the, uh, the heals and everything like that. So let's see how much Bullet Seed does. Keep on keeping on. Oh yeah. One more seed bomb after this will be just as can we get can we get five? That's three. Can we get four? Can I survey says? No. It's three times. So let's just go for one more seed bomb. Slowpoke's gonna go first and sludge bomb. Oh my god, I did not think about that one. Uh-oh. Stop. Okay, yeah. Ha, uh, take that, Slowpoke. You only did like 36 damage. And I'm gonna take you out with a seed bomb? Okay. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you, Santa Claus and all the Christmas gods, all the elves and everything for allowing me to spin yet another PS5 to reserve. Metagross! So this is a switch into Wilma. Now, Wilma has a bunch of HP, has 295. But Whale Lord is pretty weak defensively. So if we do get hit hard... It could be bad, but we're going to go with an Earthquake. Imprison won't do anything. So Earthquake 
should take this out with our high attack stat. If not, we, we'll be in a good spot. We'll be in a good spot. And we have leftovers too, which heals up. Yeah, okay. So one more earthquake should do it. Meteor mash is, is, uh, this is rough. This is rough. We've gone down to meteor mashes before. I doubt it does all 295. Oh, it doesn't even come close. But like I said, the leftovers heals 116th, which out of 295 is like 18 or 19 HP. So every, every turn that we can uh, use leftovers, we get basically like a whole potion's worth, which is absolutely incredibly amazing. See, like, look, we'll go from 207 to like 225. Yeah, 18. So that's awesome. And a Glade. All right. We don't really have anything for like a psychic fighting let's just see missy you should be able to, yeah you'll be able to take a couple of hits so let's actually switch you in and let's go with the uh the x scissor and let's see what we got here galade i love galade honestly i think the whole like boss line is actually pretty good okay reflect good call good call good call there friend but i really like gardevoir i mean she's a really great pokemon yikes Okay, well, Mist Ball won't do anything. If it does, then we are in some big, big trouble. Yeah, I really like Gardevoir, and then when she gets the Fairy Typing in Gen 6 and later, I think that's really cool. And then Glade is also awesome. I mean, a Psychic Fighting, that's something that you don't normally think about when it comes to Pokemon. And I guess we're just going to switch off some Mist Balls and some X Scissors. And I'm having a lot of fun with Gary the Glade in my Heart, heart Gold type lock. Speaking of that heart gold type lock, I'm probably going to record, so it's Christmas Eve right now. Probably the day after Christmas, I'm going to record the next episode of my heart gold type lock. So make sure you guys check that out. And we did hit our 150 subscriber challenge, which means that you guys get to kill off a type of Pokemon. So for example, I do have a Gary the Glade, so you guys can kill off Psychic. And I think I would have to put basically my whole team in the PC box. So you guys can kill off a type of Pokemon. Make sure you go watch out that watch that video and then comment which type to kill off. That will eliminate all the Pokemon that I have with that type and then I can no longer catch Pokemon on that type for the rest of the run. And I just beat Morty a couple of episodes ago, so I'll probably take on Chuck this episode. You probably gonna heal, so let's go with the slack off. Yeah, let's also heal. So we'll just speed up this. And let's uh eventually the the ref you gotta be kidding me. All right, we're just going to speed up the X scissors since that, that's pretty much all we're going to be doing. Our special attack goes down. Not a problem. Low kick won't do anything. You're out of missed ball. Side beam again won't do anything. X scissor. Don't heal up again. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. So we took down Gary the Glade. Or we took down Glade. Not Gary, of course. And the uh, Mr. Mime? Ooh, we're going we're gonna to keep in Mesprit here. We're going to keep in Missy and go for the X scissor. Now that Reflect, you have Mold Breaker. Okay, whatever. Thank you, Galade, for wasting all of our X scissors, but this should be able to take it out. Yes! It's super effective, and Mr. Mime goes down, and we are 2-0. We are halfway there. I guess we'll technically two-thirds of the way there, or two-fifths of the way there, just because... Um, oh, I, I keep forgetting to do my voice for what they say. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokemon earned the win by working as one. That's what makes you so strong. Ha ha ha. I think you can go as far as you want. Well, thanks. Okay, now we got to do a little bit of heal up. So let's go ahead and... Ooh, let's actually... Uh, let's let's give Missy some boo boo milk. Hmm, milk. Milk is good. Strong bones. Wilma, obviously, you're going to get a milk so you can get bulkier and meatier. Hey, you know what, Azura? You can have some milk, too, even though that was kind of pointless. And we don't need an elixir just yet. I can't imagine we're going to be, use X -scissor, be using X Scissor a little bit more. So let's go into the next battle. We are two out of four in the Elite Four. And then, of course, like every Pokemon game, they're going to be like, oh, wait, sorry, you got to battle somebody else. I know it's the Elite Four, but we got somebody else. Ooh, it's hot, hot, hot in here. I guess we're taking on the Heat Miser. You had me counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard from Vulcaner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light the fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? You're facing a fire-type Pokemon user with me. Let Flint see how your spirit burns. Yeah, so this is Flint, and as I said last episode, you're greeted by him as you go into Sunny Shore City, and he's like, hey man, like, I'm a pretty good friend with Volkner, the gym leader, and he like, ooh, Soul Rock. Okay, so this is going to be Rock Psychic, so... 
Uh, not, not good for Archon, I can tell you that. Let's switch into Wilma, get out here. And let's uh, Rock Polish. Okay, so your speed sharply rose. But we're going to use Waterfall. Rock Throw won't do anything. Ooh. So it did a little bit of something, something. That's okay. We're going to heal up 18, and Waterfall is going to take it out. Physical stab move on a physical attacking Whale Lord. So this should be able to take it out, and then we will find out if you are psychic like Bertha or if you are a rock trainer. Let's see what we got here. After a leftover seal, a Leap. So you're going to be a rock type trainer. Little Leap. Hey there, little buddy. We're gonna go ahead and use waterfall. Hopefully, we can get a flinch out of you, the leap. Uh, I don't know if it will take it out. I doubt it will. But if we can do at least half, perfect. Rock tomb. Our speed is lower. I don't know if we will we even get under 210. Well, we probably will. <laughs> let's be honest. All right, let's use another waterfall. Let's go ahead and knock out this leap and see what's next. Please don't have a Cordilli, uh because I don't want to deal with a Cordilli. Hopefully you just have pure rock types, maybe a Rhyperior, something that we are super duper effective against Flint. That would be super, super amazing. And we got an Anorith. Oh, little buddy. All right, so this will be a Wilma fight. And let's see, let's just go for another waterfall. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Head smash, okay. Okay, head smash. Ooh, ooh. Is this a one hit KO move? Oh my god. Wow. 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 Owen Wilson. Shout out Owen Wilson. Holy. Holy wow. Anorith. That's a wow. Yeah, so we are going to get to under 200 HP on Wilma. Let's see what's next. A Rhydon. This will be perfect for Azura to come in. Uh, give Wilma some rest. That way we don't need to heal up. And we'll be faster than this, obviously. Rhydon is a pretty slow Pokemon. And we're going to go ahead and use Seed Bomb, which is super de duper effective against Rhydon. So this should take it out in one hit. Absolutely no problem. Flint, man, that Anorith. If you took out Wilma and took out our brute forcing Whale Lord, oh my god. I don't I don't even know how I would have reacted, to be honest. I mean, that that's absolutely crazy. And what we got here? A Bastiodon. Let's... Archon is the risky play, not gonna lie. Let's go into Archon, I think we'll be fine, I think we'll be fine. We'll be able to take a hit, we'll be able to take a hit, I think. I think we'll be able to take a hit. Famous last words, right? So let's just see how much a Fire Punch does, and then, because it's 100% accurate, and I don't want to rely on missing an Overheat or a, a Heat Wave, Let's see how much Fire Punch does. It should be like critical hit. Okay, Rock Tomb, we'll be able to take a Rock Tomb. We'll be able to take a Rock Tomb. Okay, we, we're definitely gonna be able to take on a Rock Tomb. And actually, now let's go for the Overheat. Just because that was a critical Fire Punch, this Overheat should be able to take it out. If not, we might have to do a little bit of heal and switch. And we took down the Bastiodon. All right, our special attack harshly fell. Oh well. And we beat Flint. So we got two more battles. I don't believe it. I lost. I, I didn't take you for granted, but I didn't expect you to win. I, I, I never even considered it. I'm blown away by this. You and your Pokemon are hot stuff. Could you imagine if I went down to that man earth? Oh my God. Woo, burnt right down to the cinders. So yeah, we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna just give a max potion to Wilma. And we'll speed up through this. <laughs> 238 HP points. Unbelievable. And let's just be safe and give Archon a Hyper Potion by 14 points. We got plenty of money. Don't worry about it. And how are we on power points? I think the only one we're still pretty low on is... All right, 9 out of 10, 4 to 5. Okay, I, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine for the next battle. Seed Bomb, 10 Seed Bombs. Only four X Scissors, but like I said, we probably won't be using that more. If this is a Psychic type, then <laughs> Lucian, then the randomization gods are in your favor. We'll just say that. Okay, so next up is our battle with... Let's, uh... Hmm. We'll leave Archon out there, because we have a, a bunch of 
Ah, you timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lucian. I am a user of the psychic type. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I am the toughest trainer of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. And that was my very, very bad Lucian. Yeah, like, all right, my voice kind of matches that, I guess, what he looks like. I'm sorry to disturb your reading of a book here, Lucian, but you got a Probo Pass. So you're either going to be Rock or Steel again. Again, Archon, probably not the best here in this situation. Let's just go for Fire Punch, see how much that does. Probably not a lot is my guess. Yeah. Rock Tomb, you miss. Let's just go for an overheat, see if we can take it out. If not, we'll probably have to switch, but it, it'll probably go down all the way to the red health where he needs to heal, so it could just be a uh, freebie for a switch. And it does take out the Purple Pass. Nice job. So we definitely need to get you out of here. That way your special attack can come back. And level 59. Okay, Arkham. Yeah, your special attack and physical attack are, like, right there, buddy. And you are... Oh... I guess you are a steel type, but we'll, we'll keep you in no special attacking. We're just going to use the physical fire punch. If need be, we will uh, switch out for a little bit. But this is super duper effective, so it should go down in one hit. All right, Archon. Late MVP to the team. Welcome, Archon. And uh, that is, you just have a great name. I'm so happy I gave you this name. You're probably going to be named that uh, for quite some time on uh, this channel. As long as I have an Arcanine, Archon seems very, very fitting. So we're just going to fire punch down this Magneton. It should go down pretty easily, peasily, lemonly, squeezily. That was harder to say once you make them all adverbs. It's super effective! Oh my god. This is a little bit of a more difficult... Oh, another Fortress. Super duper effective. Even though, like, obviously, like, the only real danger we were in was Bulma. Like, these are still, like, pretty tough battles and pretty tough Pokemon. And, I mean, luckily we're just a little bit higher level hand up on me maybe i should have gone to like 55 or 56 but just wanted to be safe here i mean i think i think that i think 58 is good level and we'll find out with cynthia as well see like we don't have any electric type moves that would probably be something but we do have special attackers i say we we need special attackers and we de did get missy and archon on the team except i'm taking everybody down with a, a physical type move uh but this oh we're even leveled so this might take a couple of hits yeah you might, you definitely have the barrier, so one more Fire Punch will take this down. And we, guys, we are one battle away from being Pokemon Champion of the Sinnoh region. I can't use items. Let's see how much that Charcoal really does help us out here. This Fire Punch should take it out, no problem, but we'll see if, how much of the boost Charcoal does give us. And we took it out. Nice job, Archon. So Archon sweep for Lucian. I forget my voice. I see you're getting past the three before with no fluke. Oh, I can't do that. That was fast. Congratulations, you've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon. There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, strap through the doorway to your final battle. Okay, so time to heal up. I don't think you took any damage, did you? No, okay. So let's go ahead and just use an elixir on um, Missy. And we are going to go ahead and use our Max Elixir on Archon just be just because we used you the most. I'm disappointed that we haven't really seen Heavy Metal or Danny so far in the Elite Four. But, like, you see what I was saying where it's called the Elite Four and then you beat the Elite Four. And then every single Pokemon game, they're, all, they're always like, now hold on now. I know you took down the Elite Four, but, you know, there, there's one more battle. <laughs> it's just called, like, the Fab Five or something. And, um, I think I am going to put Heavy Metal out front. Not only get him battle, but Steel Psychic, we will have some type coverage. So we'll at least find out what her first type is. Plus, we can, we can receive a couple of hits and we can give a couple of hits as well. So now it's the big battle with Cynthia. One of the toughest Pokemon trainers, if not the whole, the toughest trainer in all of Pokemon when it comes to champions. Her team is so, so powerful and so, so good. But we'll see what Cynthia has right here. I mean, it, with the randomizations, it could be anything. I mean, she can be like Cyrus and just have a bunch of weak-type Pokemon. 
So let's see what you're coming out first. A Quagsire, this is going to be an Uzzer Sweep. Let's go. That's what I like to see. So we're going to start off with Quagsire with Frisk. So we don't have any Metal Code. We're definitely going to be faster. So let's go with Iron Head and just brute force this down. Okay. And we are confused. Got it. Um, Let's go ahead and switch to Azura. See what he does. See what Quagsire does. Spikes. Okay. Not a problem. So Seed Bomb should be able to take this out. So with Spikes, we will get damaged when we switch. But hopefully he can't set up. Or she. I'm sorry. It's a female Quagsire. Hopefully this female Quagsire. All right. Cool. We took it down. So either way, Azura is going to do some damage because it's either going to be water or ground. And a Gyarados. Okay, so this is a water. Honestly, we don't really have anything. Let's just switch back to Heavy Metal and brute force this down. It probably... Oh, it's randomized. So who knows? It might not have Intimidate. So that's always good. Our attack won't be lowered. And see, that's what Spikes does. But it only does, what, like, what was that, 23 damage? Hey, 23 is a nice number. And we're paralyzed. Okay, of course we are. Let's see how much Iron Head does. All right, Iron Head does more than not. Oh, critical hit. Okay, critical hit. Not, oh, it's not very effective. Um. Oh, that's right. It's a uh, fly. Uh, let's just go for another one. I mean, if that was a critical hit, I mean, a regular hit should should be able to take this out. Looks like we will have to use a full restore, and we're paralyzed. Of course we are. So let's go ahead and use a. Uh, full restore. Cool. And we're not paralyzed anymore. Aqua Tail still going to do a bunch of damage. As long as you don't crit, I think we should be fine. And you miss. Okay, perfect. So let's go for this Iron Head. We got a critical hit last time. How much is it going to do this time? Mm, not enough. Uh, you're going to heal. So let's just go for the strength. We'll speed up the heal. All right, come on, strength. Come on, strength. Do more than Iron Head, at least. Okay, it de definitely does more. So uh, we're going to have to heal up after this one as long as Aquatel doesn't crit take this out. Uh, but I think we should be fine. Yeah, yeah, All right, come on. Can we get a critical strength? Can we get a critical strength from Heavy Metal? Come on, buddy. You got this one. You got this one. Go, 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 go. All right, so we're going to have to heal up. And hopefully he misses uh, another Aquatel. And let's see. Come on. Uh... Aqua Tail, and you miss. Okay, perfect. So we can at least get another uh, one to two strains in. Let's see if we can get a crit. Aqua Tail won't do too much. Even if a crit, it won't take us out. Uh, it's not that powerful of a move. I mean, clearly it is, but uh, even with the crit, we, it definitely would not have taken us out. No way a crit would have accounted for another 117 of two. Uh, let's do you heal up. No, Bullet Punch will take it out unless for some reason that wasn't one HP. It's not very effective. I know. I know, Pokemon. But we just had to brute force something down, and Heavy Metal was it. Oh, really? Oh, we were so close to level 59. All right, Politoed's coming in, so we are switching back to uh, Azura, the Shaman. And we are going to go ahead and Seed Bomb this down. How much does Spikes do for us? Okay, it still only does about uh, 24 on Azura. Okay. Politoed is actually a very dangerous and, and decently strong Pokemon. So let's see how much uh, Seed Bomb does. And... I'm kind of glad that they added Politoed in Generation 2. I think it's a, a nice little twist, especially with all the evolutions and everything. And our Shell is going to heal up definitely to full health. Or basically full health. Return. Let's see how happy you are, Politoed. Let's see. Not very happy, apparently. So let's just Bullet Seed as you are going to heal. All right, we'll, we'll speed that up. And one Bullet Seed will be able to put us in a spot where one Seed Bomb can take it out. There's two. Do I see three? Do I see three? Do I see four? Do I see four? Survey says we're seeing four. Do we get a fifth? Do we get a five? Five. Five. Going once, going twice, and only four. Sold to the gentleman over there who bid four. And we're going to heal up and one more seed bomb. Have a good night, Palatone. Have a good night. And that's three team members? That's three team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're halfway there to becoming Pokemon Champion. Nobody is in danger of fainting right now, so that'd be really nice to see. And we get to level 59? Not right now. A Goldeen. Oh. Oh, honey. Oh, Cynthia. Level 58 Goldeen. Seed Bomb. Good night. 
Golden. Come on, keep going. Go, 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 yeah! That's what I like to see. Nice job. And there's level 59 that we needed. Oh boy, thank God we spun that PS5 because a Kyogre! Oh my God, okay. Now, now we're at the point where I'm standing up in battle because no. Not a fan of Kyogre, and of course this is your strongest Pokemon, so we might have to Frenzy Plant here, but let's see what Seed Bomb does. Seed Bomb is our best option because we're a physical attacking Shaman. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay, okay. Okay, we're in a perfect spot. Don't Ice Beam us. Do not Ice Beam us. If you Ice Beam us, do not Ice Beam us. Do not Ice Beam us. Bubble Beam, okay. Bubble Beam is fine. Bubble Beam is fine. Bubble Beam is a-okay. Okay, woo! All right. I think I can sit back down for the final Pokemon. <laughs> as long as it's not a Palkia. I mean, but but who's to say it won't be? And Kyogre goes down, and we are one Pokemon away from being champion. Whew. Whew. All right, Kyogre was scared. Just don't have a Palkia here. Do not have a Palkia. Swampert. I'm a big fan of Swampert. That's definitely my favorite Gen 3 starter. Arguably one of my favorite starters. I can't remember the last... I, I, I forgot my Cynthia voice. I don't think I gave Cynthia a voice with Snow Warning. Okay, that's that's an interesting ability. But Seed Bomb is super duper effective. And guys, I don't want to be too confident here. But this is definitely going to take this out. Keep on going. Come on. Come on. Come on. And we did it. We are Pokemon Champion of the Sinnoh region of the Sanilok. Okay, now we can uh, speed up and all that jazz. We defeated champion Cynthia just a few minutes ago. You were the most powerful challenger. And just now, you became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now our newest champion. Hey. 12.4 Gs? Okay, Cynthia. Okay. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support of your Pokemon needed to maximize their power. And you guided them with certainty, with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Hey. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I get to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's newest champion. Come with me. We'll take the lift. Alright, we'll... She said we'll take the lift, not just you alone there, pal. Okay. So let's keep on going. Yay! We are in the Hall of... Oh, there, Cynthia. I guess it's only a one-person one lift. Oh, yep, here comes the classic uh, professor from the beginning of the game comes in and, you know, congratulates us and everything. Thank you, Professor Rowan. Oh, Professor Rowan can come in. Are you Pokemon champion, Professor Rowan? All right. Let's see. Let's get entered into the Hall of Fame. Leading off. This will be our final team recap. Going into the Hall of Fame, leading off, we have Heavy Metal, the Metagross, level 58, our egg. Can't believe it hatched out of an egg. Thank you, Cynthia. Next up, we got Wilma, the Whale Lord. We got from uh, spinning the wheel and getting an extra, uh, or that naughty. We have Archon, the Arcanine. Thank God we were nice for you. Then we got Danny, the Glaceon, a gift Pokemon in Heart Home City. Thank you for getting, giving us that Glaceon. Next up, we have Azura, the Shaman, another gift Pokemon in Veilstone City. Thank you so much for that gift. And then finally, we have Missy the Mesprit that we caught at the Fuego Ironworks with one of our Master Balls. And then Simi B. Uh, ignore the time, please. Ignore the time. Saving. Do not turn off the power. And let's hop into these uh, credits, right? Let's go. Come on. That's the worst part about like Gen 4. It's so slow and it takes forever to save. So now it's just like me talking to you on, on a blank screen. I'm actually speeding up right now. That, that's how long it takes to, to save the game in Gen 4. And we did it. Guys, we did it. And this is going to end the episode with the uh, Pokemon Platinum Sandalock. This was a lot of fun. And I actually learned a couple of things along the way. Number one, uh, for next year's Sandalock, I'm definitely going to pretty much block off the entire month of December. That way we can enjoy the game a little bit more. I mean, there was only 13 episodes of Pokemon Platinum. And Platinum is a game that, you know, is so wide open. There's so many things to do. I mean, that evolution and encounter montage from the last episode was like 11 minutes because there were so many routes we didn't discover so much of the story that you know i didn't really let you guys enjoy i mean i showed you all the big battles obviously showed you all the encounters oh look there's tyler up in the sky oh that's nice that's fitting um but you know 
I showed you all the big battles, all the encounters, obviously, but like we really need to enjoy Platinum. So that's number two, is that Platinum is going to make a return to uh, my channel very, very soon. It won't be the next series, won't be the next game that, that we run through, but it could be the one after that uh, because I definitely want to, you know, have a nice randomized Nuzlocke that, you know, goes through Platinum and we can enjoy it. I mean, I think Haze Bees was like 50 episodes, so I would love to, to do another 45, 50 episode all through Platinum, 20, 30 minutes, you know, and we'll just see how far we can get during that time uh, instead of really planning this out. And then finally, the last one I just alluded to about my next series, the next series, if you've made it this far, obviously, um, I need your help. So basically the next Nuzlocke idea that I have is based off Pokédex numbers. And there's two options. I can either do a Gen 3 game, like a Fire Red, Leaf Green, uh, probably one of those two since I still have my Emerald run going on. So I'm either gonna do that or I'm gonna do Gen 5 and do like Pokémon Black or po Pokémon White. So I need your help. Should I do this Gen 3 game it's going to be a little bit of a shorter series, but it's going to be a harder challenge for me. Or should I do a Gen 5 game that'll be a longer series, but it'll be easier for me for the challenge? If you guys would comment that and then follow me on Twitter at ReallyTimmyBYT, I'll definitely put up a poll sometime in the near future. So just follow me on Twitter, be on the lookout for that. And guys, finally, that's going to end the episode because we are, uh, you know, at time. We went over a board a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching again. We are champions. We did it. We did the Santa Lock. If you guys would hit that thumbs up button to like this video. And then also consider subscribing to the channel. Like I said, if you're new, welcome. I'm It's Really Timmy B. I'm glad you enjoyed that video. Uh, all my other videos are just as good, if not better, on my channel. And then I also do some streaming on the side. So guys, have a great day. I'll see you soon.